STAT Pro 2024 now includes a new Australian and New Zealand design standard ASNZS 4600 2018 for cold form structural members. For members designed according to this code in STAT Pro, you'll be able to utilize different types of sections from the program's cold formed sections database, including rectangular, square, and circular hollow sections, channels with or without lips, Z sections with or without lips, angle sections with or without lips hat sections without lips, and eye sections formed out of two channels without lips linked back to back. You can also use a user-defined white lines section from a user-provided table with this code. However, the final shape should resemble that of a channel that is symmetric and has the thickness of web equaling twice that of the flange. Several code formed sections are also available in StatPro's new sections database format. This new format was added in StatPro version 2023 and allows you to add custom databases for different shapes more easily. Some of these databases that you see here at the top are custom databases. You can manage StatPro's section database by going into the specifications tab and clicking on sections database. Here you can create your own database and add tables within it to create sections that can be utilized for AS4600 design, like hats, Z sections, etc. In this model, I have utilized an angle section for horizontal braces, circular hollow section for vertical braces, double channel I section for beams, and square hollow section for columns. The design parameters for any code, including the AS4600, can be set up in Stat Pro under the Design page. If you click on Design Parameters button, you will see various general and code-specific parameters that you can add to your model and then assign to your members. Let's look at some code-specific parameters. CFDF is the correction factor or the KD value, which you should select according to clause 3.2.3 of AS4600 2018. This is used to calculate nominal section capacity according to clause 3.2.2. If you don't specify this parameter to the members, the program will assume that end connections are providing uniform force distribution and assume a KD value of 1. NSF is another parameter used in calculation of net section capacity. It is the ratio of net and cross area of the cross section and is used in determining the AN factor used in clause 3.2.2. RFS is the reduction factor R from clause 3.3.3.4 used for calculating nominal member capacity for channel or Z section beams having one flange through fastened to sheeting. If undefined by the user, the program assumes a default value of 0.85 for this parameter. The steel grade parameter, SGR, allows you to choose a steel grade for your members based on which yield strength and ultimate strength will be calculated. If this is unspecified, the program will assume a yield strength of around 250 MPa and an ultimate strength of around 400 MPa. You can also define the yield strength and ultimate strength by yourself. If you do that and also specify the SGR parameter, the values determined based on SGR grade selection would be prioritized. The SSY and SSC parameters are used to assign side sway classification to the members with either sway or braced option along the local Y and Z axis. Finally, you can specify the spacing of shear stiffness in your members using the stiff parameter. This is used in accordance with clause 3.3.4.1 to determine the nominal shear capacity. In this example, I have used a few design parameters specific to AS4600 2018, like the steel grade of C350, which I have assigned to all members, and ratio of net to cross section area of 0.9, which I've assigned to tension members with the help of NSF parameter. 
I've also assumed the columns to have a side sway classification of braced along local y and z axis. Coming back to some general parameters, I have a track parameter with value of 2 to get maximum level of detail in the output file. And finally, I have a check code command to perform code check on all members according to AS4600. I've also already defined the analysis command, so I can click the run analysis button to perform the analysis as well as code check according to the code parameters defined in the model. After the analysis, the program creates a text output file, which gives me many details of how Stapper has performed the analysis and design. For code check on any member, I am able to see a lot of details here as a result of the track parameter that I've used, including the strength, slenderness, and dimensional checks. Consistent with how StarPro handles other code-formed design standards, failures related to dimensional checks are only marked inside the relevant section of this output file. But such members are not considered to be failing overall when you look at the utilization ratio inside the graphical post processor if other checks are OK. Since I've requested maximum level of detail with the track parameter, I am also able to see details related to tension, compression, flexure, shear, and combined action checks. The results of the analysis and design can be graphically viewed by going into the post processor. StatPro's post processor is quite powerful, with pages that show detailed graphical and tabular results related to displacements, beam results, reactions, etc. This is the utilization ratio layout, which shows the design ratio in a graphical and tabular format. The table also includes details like the governing clause and load condition. Here we can see all members are passing with the design ratio below 1 for each member. There are also a lot of other useful results layout arrangement like the graph layout which allows you to select a member in your model and display its moment, shear force and actual force diagram. Similarly, the beam stress layout allows you to graphically see the member stresses at specific distances along the member by selecting the member and moving a slider across its length. If you have dynamic load cases in your model, like a response spectral loading, you can also view the mode shapes graphically, and the mode shapes can also be animated if you like. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.